You know what I was thinking? We've done a lot of videos on Lakeland and what makes it important, right? Super close to Tampa, affordability, and we've shown you different communities, but we've never really tied it up into one video. So today, we're gonna be showing you different areas that you can live in Lakeland, and you know what separates our channel from others. We're actually gonna show you some lifestyle stuff as well, so you have to buckle up. Jordan, you cue the intro, you hit the like button. Let's get right into it. So I wanted to take you to the Bridgewater community here in North Lakeland. And there are some new construction options here. And you know we love our new construction, right? But you can get one, two story homes with nice finishes that don't really break the bank. But what is really important about this community is the amenity center, right? You have a beautiful pool, splash pad, but then there's a lot of trails and such for people that love to be outdoors like myself tennis courts, basketball courts, fitness facility, you get it, right? There's a lot to do within the community, but most importantly, this is just a great option for those of you who think that North Lakeland is the best fit for you. So probably the most walkable area in Lakeland, if you wanna live, is Dixieland. Now we're adjacent to downtown, so you can walk to all of the shopping and dining. Anything that you can desire that downtown has, you have it, walkability. Now, look at the real estate styles that you see out here, right? There are a lot of this historic bungalows, rear load entry homes. And even when you get a teardown and you build something new, the city wants it to look a particular way. So you have these red cobblestone roads, historic looking homes, and the walkability right here in Dixieland. So let's talk about the most prestigious place to be in, to live in when you're here in Lakeland, and that's Lake Hollingsworth, right? We're gonna go ahead and unpack that. You have this beautiful, gorgeous lake about three miles around, right? Everybody's biking and cycling and bringing their dogs and kids or whatnot. But then the real estate, the fingering streets that are kind of extending from the lake, some of the most gorgeous real estate that you'll find in Central Florida. These oak trees have to be hundreds of years old. These things are super thick. So mature oak trees, you have the, the red cobblestone roads and just a, a very eclectic blend of different real estate styles. Gorgeous real estate. So if your pocketbooks can handle Lake Hollingsworth, you should definitely consider this area. Okay, so I wanted to show you some new construction options, right? Or a community that has that option for you. So we're in the southwest part of the city and we're in Riverstone. Now, a lot of builders have been in this community. A lot of them have completed their construction and have gone on, but there's still some in here. And we actually have some very interesting stories. Jordan knows he's seen me on the phone going back and forth with some of these builders in here. So if you wanna know, a couple of the stories that we have, just remember everything is not, everything that glitters is not gold, right? And I'm not throwing dirt on anybody, but you know, when you call us, we'll give you the good, bad, and ugly about, you know, every scenario, every builder that we've been a part of. But if you're into new construction and you're into Lakeland, Riverstone might be a community for you. Now, from the outside in, Lakeland might be known for being close to Tampa and Orlando and affordable, but where Lakeland really shines is in the small business sector. Now we've shown you different restaurants and establishments, but today we're gonna to take you to the very first food hall in Lakeland, the joinery, and you're going to see where the standard is for these small businesses here in Lakeland. Okay, everybody, this one this one to me is, is very exciting. We're here at the joinery and we're here with the owner, the founder, the CEO, John. Tell us uh, about the joinery. Yeah. It didn't start with like wanting to run a concept like this, right? Like, no, I mean, what, what you see right now is a food hall where we have seven restaurants, a bar, and a gift shop. The idea was for me to have a furniture manufacturing shop and a showroom, and this is what we ended up with. So, yeah, and it's a actually, little it, different. It's, I mean, in, in to an extent, because you've done a lot of the furniture. Yeah, that's here. sure. Yeah, so in, in in one sense, it is a showroom for um, for the company that is 1720, which is a furniture company. I started about 12 years ago. Moving to an area where we can have more of a local presence, more of a local. Um, clientele, because Lakeland wasn't really a market for what I was doing on the furniture side of things, sure. um, ultimately grew 
into what is now the joinery. And the truth is, even though I love so many things about so many cities, and even before the furniture company, I spent many years playing music and traveling, so I've been all over the country, pretty much every city, numerous times over, over the course of 10, 15 years. The more I considered where I'd wanna go, the more I just kept landing on staying here for the yeah. community and being a part of cultivating what I missed about those other areas. Yeah. I remember going to Armature Works in Tampa mm -hmm. and I was like, this is freaking awesome. Yeah. Then I remember coming this way and I'm like, there's one in Lakeland. Yeah. Right? But you said you've known about food halls for such a long time. Yeah. 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 Um, even back in my travel days, like I, I played music, so I was touring pretty full time through 2012-ish. Yeah. And there were a handful of cities and a handful of markets that we would go to when we go to those cities. Uh, and they're just fun. Mm -hmm. You know, food halls, like a, it's like a food court in a mall without the rest of the mall. Right. Or it's almost inverted, right? Yes. Yeah. Most food halls have like some kind of cool little retail spot. Sure. So it's like, it's like the opposite, right? You have mostly food and then a little bit of retail where the mall's the opposite. But then you mix in a bar and then you take it and you make it very design focused and design forward. And then you curate the restaurants to be complimentary. And then you look for chefs who have like a unique take on what they're doing and they have a focused and pared down menu. Yeah. And it's a place you can go with your family. You have a lot of you know fast casual food options. You can have a great cocktail. You can hang for a few hours. You can meet up here. You don't feel like you have to like you know eat and then when you're done leave. Yeah, your your story is awesome. But I'm excited to kind of walk around and just kind of take a look at some of the stuff that you've done and maybe even talk to some of the venues here. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we're here at Blue Dog Barbecue in the Joinery in Lakeland. We got Max and crew and crew here with us today. And what what are we working on today, Max? Slicing up a little brisket right now. I think we got a sampler for you guys coming right up. Now, what goes into like uh, the secret of keeping this thing so like moist and juicy? Um, not too many secrets. We season it with salt and pepper, and it hangs out on the grill for about 12 to 14 hours, Ooh. and it is juicy. That thing looks juicy. Now I have to tell you, this has been like my favorite place in all of Lakeland, honestly. I mean, it's so boring. I think most people are like, you go to a barbecue joint? Like, yes, I go to a barbecue joint. This one has incredible brisket, honestly. What's this, Max? What do we have? Uh, this is a brisket fresh off the grill about midnight last night. You go ahead and box that thing up. I'll take it to go. So midnight last night, so you guys stay here all night or you just trust that the wood's gonna burn? We, um, we we cook them all throughout the day and then we pull them off and we'll put them in the warmers to rest throughout the night to finish cooking and let the juices redistribute in the meat. The, the key is resting, right? My favorite thing is probably this end bone of these ribs right here. A little pitmaster snack. Is that St. Louis style ribs? Uh, we cook the full spare. So this is a full spare. What's the difference between full spare and St. Louis? That's a good question. The, um, a full spare, you get all this, uh, they call it knuckle meat. So there's a lot of kind of connective tissues some tendons in here and um, St. Louis is gonna be trimmed down just that meat in between the bones. So that's the half pound sampler. Ribs, pulled pork, brisket, got your mac and cheese, baked beans, and our kale Caesar. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate you. Look us up, Blue Dog Craft Barbecue. We, get a nice we cater. Beer. Yeah. Okay, so in case you all didn't get the intro, this is Josh Hurd, another rock star agent here on the team. So you gotta do like some sort of thumbnail thing. He's gonna make you like outline and like a superhero. He's the Lakeland guy. He's the he's the guru of Lakeland. I mean, so what, what have we been seeing out here? I mean, you've been super busy. Um, the market has not changed much. Um, a lot of people think it's slowing down, but it's not. We got currently we got homes for sale in the area. We got homes under contract. So things are moving. Things are moving. Things are hot. Summer's hot. This food's about to be fire. We got a fire department across the street. <laughs> Just in we're, case. we're safe. This is this is the brisket right here. Million dollar brisket. Lakeland, number two fastest growing city in the U.S. So they're saying, but why, why? What's making people come to Lakeland? You know, you're close to Tampa, 30 minute drive to Tampa. Orlando's on the other side, maybe a little 40 minute drive, but 
you know, you got a lot of shopping, a lot of attractions here in Lakeland. So, yeah. you know, like what we were talking about before, you know, Lakeland used to be kind of like a getaway city from Tampa, but now it's its own identity. So, you know, people are coming to Lakeland for Lakeland. But the type of real estate that you'll find in Lakeland, a lot of resale options, but you literally have all styles of homes, right? Yeah, plenty of resale. You got uh, new construction coming up, not as, not as much as the surrounding areas, surrounding cities, but you do have some uh, new construction options. Plenty of lots for sale. Um, if you're looking to build, uh, we could help with that too. You know some builders, so. Yeah, custom build. It doesn't necessarily have to be you know, a, a production builder. Hold on real quick. I'll let you know what this is about because I actually make barbecue, so we'll see. Mm. I think it bites right off the bone but holds on there. So what, um, what would you say is like a sleeper area in Lakeland? Everybody wants to talk about the same spots, but what's a sleeper area since you're here doing all of the, the work out here? I'm a little biased to North Lakeland. I'm more of a country boy type, so you got more land, more, more farmland out there. But uh, I think right now probably Dixieland. Dixieland seems to be the up and coming. Uh, Lake Hollingsworth, you, you get the feel that it's just pricey, million dollar mansions, but you can get a million dollar mansion on one street, next street over, affordable housing, you buy a house for the, for the family, so. More walkable than parts of, of Tampa, right? Oh, sure. You can live in Dixieland and you can just walk over here, get something to eat, have a drink, go to the brewery, go to the joinery, um, and, and uh, do all of that. Yeah, Lakeland's a big city, but you have this the small town feel. Everybody knows each other. Everyone's getting some barbecue together. Uh, you got your CEOs all the way down to your blue collar workers, but Friday nights, still have the game together. Yeah, so we'll, uh, you know, if you're thinking of moving to Lakeland, I know it's hard. If you're out of state, you want to see Lakeland, let us know an area. We'll, we'll do a driving tour, um, show you what's in the area. I know if you're looking for shops, I was kind of thinking about this the other day, is you got Target, Walmart, all those stores on both sides of Lakeland, both north sides. and south. Yeah. So it doesn't matter where you're going to go. It's really, if you want, South Lakeland is a little bit more, I would say, the city. Yeah. Uh, where North Lakeland's a little bit more country and, and land. So it's really just where you want to be. Uh, yeah, yeah. Everything's close to downtown Lakeland. Um, yeah, everything's probably 15, maybe 20 minutes to downtown, whether it's north or south. And like he said, regardless of the lifestyle, you want land, you want to own cows, and you want to own horses, you can do that in North Lakeland. But you also have all your targets, your best buys, which seem very kind of like not important, but it's extremely important. Yeah. And you have the same thing in North Lakeland. More common stores you're looking for for everyday life. So, What's your favorite thing on the plate so far? You got to try the rib. I'll try the rib. You don't eat pork, do you? No, I do. Okay, yeah, let's get it. Come on. Man. Don't be afraid. Dig in. He has a whole piece to himself right here. I know I'm a small guy, but, you know, I eat. Okay, guys. Hey, we're going to go ahead and finish this up. He's going to get back to work. Actually, we're going to try to show you some real estate out here, but um, whenever you stop by the joinery, Blue Dog Barbecue, you have to hit them up and then ask for this sampler plate right here. So there you have it. I mean... I don't have to continue to tell you this. You already know it. Lakeland's a great place to live, an excellent place to raise a family, and it just might be your next home. So if you're looking to buy or sell real estate, whether it's in Lakeland or the surrounding areas, my team and I would love to assist you with that. You can reach us at cclayhomes at gmail.com or simply just text this number right here. Hey, I would love to stick around, but as long as you're subscribed, we're gonna see each other again. So until next time. Yeah.